So we all know how annoying it is when you're working out, you're at PE, you're playing sports, and your hair keeps falling in your face. So you could put it up in your generic ponytail, or maybe put it up in your generic top knot, but those get a little bit boring, and some days you just kind of want to switch it up a little bit and try something new. Um, these hairstyles are a bit more complicated that I'll be showing you guys, but they're really fun and unique for days that you want to look a little bit more put together. So today I'm showing you guys four sporty hairstyles that you guys could definitely use for those days when you're doing any sort of exercise. Starting with hairstyle number one, I'm first grabbing a section of hair right up my temples, just that bang section right there, and I'm going to be pulling it back and pushing it up to form a bump. And then using bobby pins, I'm going to crisscross my pins on top of my head just to secure that. Um, you guys can do the bump as big or small as you want. I just chose for like a medium volume size, I guess. I'm going to start French braiding at the sides of my head to make this really cool French braided ponytail. So I'm basically just taking a section of hair right above my ear and I'm going to separate that into three pieces and just start French braiding the whole way back. I'm just going to French braid until the middle back of my head and once I reach the end I'm going to braid normally the rest of the way down, at least for now, and secure it temporarily with a bobby pin. And now going over to the other side, I'm going to repeat the exact same process, just grabbing a section of hair above my ear, French braiding, angling the braid back, and just braiding normally the rest of the way down and temporarily securing it with a bobby pin. Okay, so once you have your braids, um, just pull your hair back into a ponytail. I'm doing mine at about the middle back of my head. You can do yours a little bit higher if you like, but this is just where I like to put my ponytails. Um, I'm just tying that off with a strong hair elastic. I chose to just take out the two braids and just kind of unravel those. However, you can choose to take a small hairband and secure those if you want to leave those braids in your ponytail because that's really cute as well. Um, and then I'm also going at the sides of my head and kind of pulling up on the French braid just to add a little bit more volume, but that's obviously optional. And there you go, there's the finished hairstyle. I love this one because it looks really cool and could actually work for a lot of different types of events, but it keeps your hair all out of your face and it's so, so comfortable, but a lot more fun than a normal ponytail. Our place. I'll visit every Wednesday. Okay, so start off by kind of just brushing your hair back and then gathering a section of hair right at the crown of your head, kind of from your temples back. Pull that back really nice and smoothly and then separate that piece into three different sections. You probably guess what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be doing a normal French braid down the back of my head. Um, and if you don't know how to French braid, it's basically the same thing as a normal three strand braid. You just add in hair each time that you bring it into the center. You can look up another tutorial if you need more help with that. And although this is a very simple hairstyle if you already know how to French braid, I decided to include this because it's definitely one of my top favorites, just because it keeps my hair out of my face, it looks a little bit prettier than a ponytail, and it's just really quick and simple to do. So once I reach the nape of my neck, I'm just going to take a hair tie and secure that right there instead of braiding down the rest of the way. I just like this a little bit better because I feel like it looks a little more interesting because it looks more like a detailed ponytail as opposed to a French braid, if that makes any sense. But you can totally continue the braid down the rest of your hair. And yeah, I just love this hairstyle. Really simple, which is definitely right up my alley. So I'm going to start off by doing a deep side part and then I'm going to make a section about two inches back from my hairline, I'm kind of just that bang area and just pull that towards the front. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but obviously the other section is going to be a little bit smaller. Um, and then I'm just temporarily going to secure the rest of my hair into kind of a messy bun at the back of my head so that it doesn't get incorporated while we're doing our braiding. So I'm just basically going to be doing a Dutch braid, starting right there at my hairline, grabbing a really small section and just adding in little sections as I braid 
along my bangs. This one is really helpful if you have bangs that are constantly falling in your face while you're playing. This one just kind of pulls your bangs back. So once I reach like my ear, I'm just going to braid normally the rest of the way down and secure that temporarily with a bobby pin and just go to the other side and repeat the exact same thing. Dutch braiding, kind of angling it a little bit back since we're going to be pulling this back into a bun soon. Whispers into my ear and overwhelms petty fears. So once I've got my little braids, I'm just gonna kind of let down that section right there that I pulled back earlier and kind of redo that, doing a better ponytail, I guess, which soon I'll be turning into a bun, but for now I'm just putting it into a ponytail. And I'm going to be taking that first braided section, the one on the heavier side of my head, and I'm just going to first bobby pin that right behind my ear to secure that and then just kind of bring that braid up the side of my head um, and then wrapping the end around my ponytail. You just kind of want to create the shape that you like and also make sure if you have any parting lines just to kind of fix those up so that they're not visible. You can see on the other side I had really bad part lines but I, I fixed that in a little bit and I just kind of repeated the same thing pulling that up towards the base of the ponytail and then wrapping that around and I turned it into a bun just a simple little cinnamon bun just because I thought it looked a lot cuter but you can definitely leave it as a ponytail it's a very versatile hairstyle even though this one is a little bit more time consuming it's definitely an eye catcher and it's really good for performances if you're like in cheer or something like that where you want to look um, a little bit nicer I'll visit every Wednesday. Okay, so this last hairstyle is kind of a lie, because it's not actually a hairstyle, it's more of a DIY. So I'm just starting off with four normal average bobby pins, you probably have some at your house. So I'm just going to be taking four nail polishes. I just have like a light blue, a, a pink, a dark blue, and an orange. And then I'm basically going to be taking my fancy little bobby pins and my nail polish. And taking that first bobby pin, I'm just painting on like the upper ridge of the bobby pin with my nail polish. So we're basically making really fun colored bobby pins DIY at your own house. So there's the four finished ones. I just did it with my four colors. You can do it with whatever colors you want. Um, the camera wasn't picking up the colors as well, but they're really cute and bright and fun. And basically with that like simple ponytail that I showed you guys earlier at the beginning of the video, you can totally jazz that up by using these colored bobby pins. So I really think it's cool to kind of put them in a striped design on the side of my head, just kind of using them more for like the purpose of making a design, not so much for actually holding up hair with the bobby pins, but you can totally get creative with this. You can also use them as normal bobby pins if you just want to add a little bit of color to your hair, and it's really cute and a really quick and easy DIY. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all of my social media links, which are on the screen right now and are in the description box as always. Thanks for watching. Bye! We fit like two birds in a house on the corner of six and eight.